Welcome back to part two. Here we go. <clears throat> and welcome back once again, collective. In summation of that, let's say impartation of what you would call Luciferian as well as Archangel Michael. We want you to understand, of course, once again, for clarity, the mirror is offering what you're not in that negative vibration. As well as the word spoken by the Luciferian idea, that of intensifying what you would call the negativity. Stand by. Hmm. Now, the reason is, much like when you go 4th of July idea to your fireworks, you have a grand finale. You're having the grand finale now. It's going to take, let's say, a few years of the idea of grand finale, but it is all coming up. You're getting it all out of your system. Each and every one of you understands the word boredom. You're bored. When you see something over and over again, you get bored. You look for new ways to make it exciting. I can't imagine how many ways you, let's say when you were a child, you played with a box. You did lots of stuff with the simplicity of a box. You took the box beyond itself. Hmm. Same idea. There's nothing else to play out. You know it all. You're bored with it. In that boredom is the brightest, the most shiniest choice in all your nows. When you're sitting around doing nothing, you're seeking something to do. The slipstream is available. The vortex is available. The highest excitement is available in that moment. Relax and don't cover it up with what should I do or let's say pull up the past on a past moment of entertainment because once again you're repeating the known and that only leads to once again boredom. You're done with that. You're done with the negativity. You're done with the cover-ups. You're done with the enslavement. You're done with the, let's say, at the expense of others. This is your awakening. You are in charge of it. You, as an individual, are in charge. That's not being responsible to the collective for some, let's say, committed paradigm to succeed, because that's vanity. That's proving to yourself that you are making a difference. You don't need to do that. You are making a difference just by existing. Each heartbeat makes a difference. Each thought makes a difference. Each action makes a difference. Everything you do is making a difference already. Once again, as that reflection from the Palia, civil, uh, pardon me, Essasani civilization vibration, that of Palia, you're already giving, you're already receiving just by being, period. So in that idea, when you are bored, shift and find the unknown that is available. It is the one that is most excitable. It is the one that is shining brighter. It is a question of inquisitive proportions that urges you to follow. And you cannot, if you choose, hold back anymore. There's no need to, because you understand within your wisdom that is now repeating, when you walk through the fear, you're not doing it in fear. Because if you were doing it in fear, you would not take action on the fear. You would be just reflecting the fear, fear rather, and thought over and over, and then get tired of it, and not even want to, let's say, receive that in your reality. You shift and don't take action. When you take action on facing your fears, you are doing it with truth. That changes the mirror. The mirror says you are love, your truth, your excitement, Guess what I'm going to give you? Your love, your truth, your excitement. So fear represents that of, let's say, what needs to be healed in you by giving it love, not action in goal setting, in accomplishment, in success, and let's say telling others, look what I did. 
Don't need to do that. Be the meek. Be the vulnerable. Be the naked. Turn the other cheek and walk away. And not walk away as in weakness. Walk away and as I am. I choose not to sustain the negativity of the illusion. I will not feed your hungry fear with mine. For I am no longer fear. I am love. I will give you my love in the offering, which will only pull out of you by the, let's say, built-in algorithm. Built-in. I will only pull the love out of you. Pardon me. The fear out of you. To show you the love that I am. You do that. Every time you speak your truth, you shift your world. The ones that go with you are vibrationally within your vortex of understanding of co-creation. So once again, if you see them in negativity, you're choosing to see them in negativity. Hmm? If you see them as God, that Lucifer entity over there being a negative person, serving a purpose, I'm going to have a choice. I see you as that or I see you as love. God. All that is. Choice. Representation. Fulfillment. Let's say soulful purpose. Your souls in that idea are only honing you in to the path of ascension because you're here. Once again, this is the ascension timeline. So in that idea, Always act upon your truth. Walk through the fear. If you're saying, listen, we're not going to harp on the idea of 3D so, so much. And you're sustaining your job and stuff. And your income. And fearing your own, let's say, bubble reality. What we want you to understand is if you're at your job and you don't like it, then please let go of it and turn the other cheek from that sustaining enslavement. And you will have trusted a higher vibration of that of creating abundance, of filling your soul, until it's done. The word career is limiting. You want one job? Really? I think after about a month or so, you know what's going on. If you love your, quote, job, then stay there. Of course, because you're still in that idea of feeling, filling all parts of you in that soul, soul-filling purpose. And when it's over, boredom strikes once again. And in that, you are now repeaters or explorers. If you're staying there because of fear, security, that of sustaining the separation, then you are a repeater. No one's a repeater. Even though you color it as many ways as you can, it's never going to be that of excitement, joy. You know this. Now you truly know this. Not believe it. Know it. And in that idea, let go. It's okay. There's enough of you out there that are representing out there in the collective of awake that you can shift and go from here to here to here to here, do this, 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 and this, and maintain the idea of abundance, of security, if you need that term. But you are your reality. If you put out trust, put out love, the mirror reflects it. You must listen to that if you choose. What you put out is what you give back. It will never end. Put out love, get love. Put out truth for yourself. Fall in love with yourself. The mirror will shower you with endless moments of synchronicity, epiphanies, expansion, exploration, and then now you're actually excited about the next unknown because you no longer truly want to be a repeater. You want to be that. So the cabal... Luciferian idea, is serving a purpose. You called upon your archangels to guide you through the times of the darkness with their unbelievable love for you. It's unconditional, of course. 
And now, even the archangels are telling you, collective, that you're ready to do it by yourself. You all. Call upon them, but do not rely upon anybody. Turn your authority back to yourself. Be that of the endless explorer of creation. Speak your words of wisdom and let it be. Period. Because that will only show you that truth is the reflection of your own soul, of your own filling, of your own divine power of I am to thrust upon humanity in that mirror of love to offer that light within the darkness, to bring them in, to comfort and hold them and give them the endless words of love. You got this, baby. You are God. This is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collective Fire. Once again, Entities of Ascension, we are honored to be in service to you. I bid you a good moment, a donate. Beautiful. Frickin' Osiphius, you rock the fucking paradigm. <laughs> I love you, baby. Awesome. Uh, that was awesome, frickin' awesome. I love how he put it together. Booyah! <laughs> and he didn't even say booyah once, did he? No. <laughs> Usually he's like, booyah, booyah. It's like, oh yeah, that's it. Put you in there. <laughs> Chatty Kathy. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, about 8 o'clock. Oh my God, it's wine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> red, red wine. Okay, yeah, I love you guys. I'll put this up uh, tonight, probably be tomorrow before it hits YouTube. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keep the comments coming. And if again, 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 if you need to call me, 210-605-5604. Let's talk. We're creators. Let's do it. Let's get it on. Booyah. Love you guys. Bye.